right, getting uh, back to our, our top story, uh, we are going to head out to Norma Holland in just a little bit. She has been able to speak with uh, the families of, of some of the victims, and if we can, if we have their pictures and able to put them up, uh, Raekwon Menegault, uh, 19 years old, and uh, Jonah Barley, 17 years old. This coming from uh, the families of these young men, telling our Norma Holland that uh, Raekwon Menegault actually uh, working for volunteering for pathways to peace uh, Jonah Barley had just survived a car crash recently and had worked to regain his life some of the stories coming out of Genesee Street we will get to Norma in just a little bit first we want to head out to Hannah Welker who's been at the hospital since about 1 30 this morning uh, for yeah, Jen. A, yeah go ahead Hannah sorry yeah, no, it's okay, guys. Uh, I, Like you said, I've been here since 1.30 this morning. It was a very different scene earlier after that incident last night, that mass shooting out on Genesee Street. A lot of the family were friends who were looking to get answers, came here. They came right in front of the emergency room doors, sort of uh, took over the area. About 100 people at one time were right here screaming crying showing all of all of their emotion uh, about what happened last night basically in disbelief uh, about what went wrong what happened and how they could get more answers now very calm uh, those crowds have uh, died down they've split up all of those people have left and i'll have more for you from the hospital all throughout box rochester today all right, thank you so much, Hannah. Again, three people killed and four people injured. Norma Holland has been uh, talking about the two people that we know uh, the identities of, of uh, among those three who died. Norma is at the scene on Genesee Street this morning. Yeah, good morning, Doug. Uh, good morning, Jen. We are still at the scene here where police are still on the scene. There's still a portion of Genesee Street near Aberdeen and Holly Street. Uh, they, they've been, it's been blocked off uh, to traffic. There remain investigators just out front of the Boys and Girls Club where this shooting happened, as you said earlier. Seven people were shot, four remain at the hospital. We have learned the identities of two of those victims. One of them, 19-year-old Raekwon uh, Manigault, a volunteer with the Pathways to Peace program, as well as 17 year old uh, Jonah Barley who uh, amazingly enough had survived a serious car crash late last year he had fought his way back to wellness he had actually come out of a coma earlier this year and this is what his aunt had to say about him this morning and he had a smile that was very contagious his smile he smiled when he was in the when he was in the coma he smiled when he got out of the coma and he smiled up and down these streets it was not a day you would not see jonah without a smile on his face and he was very he had his ups and downs as a teenager but he was a very cheerful kid and he was friendly Everyone is friends and they know each other in this neighborhood, according to one of the other women who was at the scene. This is a neighborhood where people know each other. Uh, they're connected by the fact that they live in this neighborhood. And we're going to hear from that woman a little bit later on. She had some very interesting things to say about crime in Rochester and what needs to change. We've been hearing from people all morning long about that. They are fed up. They are tired of this. We're going to hear more from the victims' families later on in the show. And then, of course, we hope to get an update from police later on during this broadcast. Again, uh, the investigators are still at the scene. There are no suspects in custody. It is not clear who drove by that crowd after that basketball game broke out or finished, I should say, over at the Boys and Girls Club and began shooting into the crowd. Well, the very latest from the scene all morning long. Yeah, Doug? one thing missing so far has been even a, a description of the car from which uh, the shots were fired. Uh, we have uh, spoken with uh, some people who were actually first on the scene, and here's what they had to say about that last night. We came... And before they put up the tape, we, you know, seen bodies everywhere. So we looked around and um, it was pretty bad. I mean, I just didn't even believe that it was happening because I was actually right next to um, one of the guys who was dead. And it was just, I couldn't even think. Normally, you know, we see violence, like, you know, a shot here and there, somebody getting stabbed. But this was actually one of the, the worst that I think we've seen so far. The police chief uh, also not mincing words on this. As Doug mentioned, no suspects in custody, but the chief says they will find whomever did this. There was no problem at the Boys and Girls Club. There was no problem with the basketball game. It did not seem to stem from that. 
We are bringing every resource that we have at our disposal to bear on this, and uh, we will uh, we will run this down and find out who did this. This was an outrageous act, and uh, we intend to find out who did it and uh, bring them to justice. Again, here's what we know right now. Police say someone opened fire from a car as they drove by the Boys and Girls Club of Rochester on Genesee Street about 1120 last night. It happened just as a basketball game was letting out. Seven people were shot. Three of them died. Police haven't released any information about suspects. They are urging anyone who might know something to call 911.